Hey YouTube, it's David. Today I'm going to show you how to use this wireless shutter release. Um, I bought this on Amazon. It cost me about, I think it was about seven bucks. Um, and it works. It works really good. It works uh, about 16 feet uh, is the, it's the, the maximum distance that you can use this. This is a Zykos uh, and there's the numbers on there. Uh, if you can see it, it's Z-E-W-R-C. And let me show you, first I'll, I'll show you how to configure it and then we'll actually use it so you can see how exactly how it works. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do uh, is you wanna go to your camera. And I always, I, I'm using a, a Canon 7D and, and the 7D has a great feature um, where it will allow you to push this Q here. And when you press the Q, you can toggle around the screen and change anything that you want. You wanna change the shutter um, speed, you can do that. And there you go with the f-stop and uh, so forth. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to the, the single, the shooting mode, okay? And in the shooting mode, you have high speed, or first you have the single shot, then you have high speed, then you have low speed continuous, then you have the self timer, 10 second, okay? And then you have the self timer, two second, and then it's then it's remote control as well. So that's the, the one that you wanna be on, okay? And obviously I'm, I'm working with uh, a manual mode here. So that's very important, you, you need to have it on manual mode or uh, AV or TV. So anyhow, once you find that, then you, you go ahead and click on uh, to that. And let me just show you that one more time. So what's on there, through continuous remote, you hit set, set, there you go. Okay, it's on. All right, so you go ahead and place your camera down. Now this is very important. This little um, infrared right here needs to be able to see this infrared here, okay? So now, I'm pressing it, I'm pressing it, I'm pressing it, nothing's happening, okay? It's not seeing the, the infrared. So you're still not gonna get anything. I keep pressing, it's not, nothing's gonna happen. Now, as soon as I press down, there you go, bam. So it sees it and it reacts to it, okay? And it will work, like I said, about up to about 16 feet. I, I tested it and it, and it works. So this is great. I mean, you're gonna come across times where you're gonna need a release, a shutter release, and you can either use the ones that are tethered to the camera, or you can use a wireless one. And I personally like the wireless one better, but uh, it, it's totally up to your, whatever you feel is, is uh, necessary for you. But uh, so then again, like I said, you can't be behind walls or anything like that. You have to have it facing the actual camera, infrared to infrared in order for it to shut, to uh, work, okay? So that's, um, that's how you use this wireless remote. If you have any questions, please comment, rate, subscribe. Um, I also have a, U or a Facebook uh, and I'll leave the link below as well as uh, Flickr where I'll post pictures and if you, you guys like what you see let me know if you don't like what you see let me know um, and you can also uh, post pictures on Facebook tag them to me uh, and I'll give you I'll give you my uh, opinion about what you sent okay so anyhow you guys have a good one bye